It's an issue that has caused arguments around the nation, and today it was the subject of formal arguments in the U.S. Supreme Court. We're talking about same-sex marriage. The justices are considering whether individual states should have the power to recognize or reject gay marriage, or whether the Supreme Court should hand down a ruling that would recognize same-sex marriage nationwide. Arizona already has allowed gay marriage for a little more than half a year. What could a Supreme Court ruling mean here? We sent Not In Your Side's Craig Smith to find out. Guy, last October, Arizona's Attorney General did not really approve same-sex marriage. He simply conceded he was unlikely to win if he continued to fight it in court. That cleared the way for gay marriages here, but Arizona couples married since then say they still have a lot at stake in the Supreme Court ruling. When Arizona stopped blocking gay marriage, a lot of couples rushed to the Pima County Courthouse for marriage licenses, and pastors performed ceremonies right at the courthouse door. Bob Gordon and Steve Cranach were happy to put legal weight behind an emotional commitment they made long ago. Even though their marriage is legal here, they still feel a real stake in what the Supreme Court decides. First of all, we could move to another state where it currently same-sex marriage is not legal and that would change everything. Or, and secondly, um, I worry that they could retract things. Opponents urge the court to view a male-female marriage as the norm and a tradition to uphold. Some see same-sex marriage in conflict with their faith, though religious arguments did not come up in court. People are welcome to read the Bible or any holy book, sacred book they want for themselves to guide their own lives. But I draw the line when they read the Bible or any sacred book for somebody else to sell, tell somebody else how to live their lives. Attorney Erwin Kratz thinks the court will find gay marriage is legal because it already ruled it was discrimination to have a federal law defining marriage as between a man and a woman only. He thinks if the court does leave gay marriage up to the states, states will probably not try to cancel same-sex marriages that have already happened. I doubt they would do that because of the disruption and because it's just, it's just it, they would probably lose the, the lawsuit, the inevitable lawsuit that would result. You can't, as a state, recognize something and then pull the, the rug out from under them. Um, now, once a case is argued before the Supreme Court, the court normally takes several months to rule. Most predictions say we will not know the court's decision until June.